Tristan Jazz is the most talented basketball player on YouTube, and if you think that he's just a layup guy, I can assure you that this video will change your mind. Tristan blew up on Instagram for his insane hand speed and coordination with the basketball, and he basically started a new trend of basketball swag, and that was crazy layups. He really made a simple layup sort of turn into an art, and he had people looking at a simple layup way differently. He then brought his platform on Instagram all the way over to this lovely website, where he has built a fan base of over 1.7 million subscribers. But I definitely know some people who think that T-Jazz is just some crazy gymnastics guy who knows how to put a ball in between his legs and then put it in a basket. And let me tell you, that is just not the case. Over the years, Tristan Jazz has played a lot of basketball games, whether that's a 1v1, 2v2, or even 5v5. But the main common denominator in those games is that Tristan is always dominant on the court no matter what, and always benefits the game in some way. T-Jazz has so many underrated aspects to his game, some of the list are his shooting ability, his handles, and his basketball IQ. And he can definitely clamp up when he tries. But now that you know the backstory of T-Jazz and what his game is like, we can start getting into these statistics. Now over the years, Tristan Jazz has played 19 1v1s, but we will only be counting 14 of them because Two of them were skits and weren't meant to be really taken seriously. Two of them were played against his dad, no disrespect to his dad whatsoever, but on the basketball court, he was just outmatched. And he played him twice, so that's another game I didn't count. And the last one that I didn't count was played on a mini hoop, so obviously I'm not gonna count a 1v1 that was played on a mini hoop. So out of these 14 games, he has a record of 13 and one, which gives him a 92.9% .9 chance of winning which is impressive to say the least. But I know you guys are thinking, what happened in that one loss? Well, that one loss came from a random person at the gym where three, four went into the game, T-Jazz is disgusting when he sprained his ankle. Like, it, it didn't look good, I'll just tell you that. I still thought I would count this game though because the guy he was playing was beating it before he sprained his ankle and he did have some skills, so I thought he would deserve some recognition. But most of the people T-Jazz have played have been just family members and friends, which is cool and it's something to take into consideration. But now for the in-game stat. Over these 14 games, Tristan has shot 242 shots and made 143 of them, which gives him a very efficient 59.1% from the field. That's like Bobon type numbers. Out of these 242 shots, only 48 of these shots were threes, which means that only 19.9% of Tristan's shots are threes. But out of those 48 threes attempted, he's made 19 of them, which gives him a 39.6 three-point percentage, which is very solid and is definitely above NBA league average. Over these 14 games, he has allowed 91 points. And to round off the stats, T-Jazz over these games has grabbed 85 rebounds, has 6 steals, 2 blocks, and 10 made in-game crazy layups. I thought it would be funny if I kept that stat. So all of this rounds Tristan's averages to be 12.9 points per game, 6.1 rebounds, 0.1 blocks, 0.1 steals per game, 0.7 made crazy layups per game, while shooting 17.3 shots a game, and allowing 6.5 points per game. Now those are very solid numbers as you can see, but his worst shooting game happened on September 20th, 2018, where he shot 11 of 26 from the field, which means that he shot 42.3% from the field, which really isn't bad, but that in fact was his worst game, and even though he won that game, it wasn't the prettiest to say the least, but if that is your worst game, then you're definitely doing something right. He has had a lot of ridiculously efficient games, but one of the most efficient games was titled, Trash Talking Kids Gets Exposed, One Who Won Basketball, and that video was pretty hilarious to be honest, you should check it out. But lastly and not leastly, we have T-Jazz's shot chart. Now you can see that T-Jazz loves his free throw line pull up and he tends to go to that a lot. He also loves that mid range area. Unlike the shot chart I did for DDG, it was very evident that he just wouldn't shoot that mid range shot. So after you're finished watching this, I definitely recommend you going and checking that out. But yeah, as you can see, you guys have eyes. He's very efficient in the paint. But you guys can get a couple extra seconds to look at this shot chart. And once again, just like my last video, this shot chart and stats will be posted on my Instagram which is at Reliable Rants, which will be linked in the description. I should just go in and check in that out because, you know, it'd be cool, you know, just press that one button, hit that follow button. But yeah, guys, anyways, that'll do it for this video. Make sure to do all that good stuff in the comments down below and make sure to tell me who you want to see me do next. Um, and it's been Luke and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.